She is. One more. Get safe. One more. <laughs> Come on. Oh, now. good Come on. night. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, hey, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. It's we Wednesday. are. It's an absolutely beautiful day here, but the weather has been crisp and cool. Oh, I didn't move the microphone. Oh, you didn't? I knew there was something I was forgetting. There we go. Is that better? See? Hi, Allie. <laughs> you missed it. I got to say hi first. Well, I just knew. I Did you hear me say waiting on you? I don't know if she heard that or not. I don't know how quick that comes up. There's Kathy from Indiana. Jill. Hi, Jill. Howdy. Do you, any, you do anything this weekend? Fun. Um, no. I don't ever do anything fun. I'm helping my friends move. And somehow, it's not, fun to pack other people's stuff. But it's not fun when you're moving. you got to pack your own stuff. I don't find packing ever fun for anybody's stuff. Well, if you if you were with me, it would be fun. Because you not. had some wine? Don't no! <laughs> this is the middle of the day. That's just work. No, I meant when you were packing... I know That's why packing was fun is because you know no it was fun oh it was in the middle of the day I thought it you was meant. yeah it was I can't I don't even know what she's saying I don't make sense I don't hear sense that's the problem <laughs> a lot of people make sense I just don't hear it <laughs> oh uh, who says it's like butter what's like butter that um Melinda, Melinda Bertram oh are you talking about the color of Misty's wig she had a picture with butter on her head. I saw that. Yeah, that was that. That was Cameron by butter. John Renault in the. Um, I thought she that was like butter. Laguna. Beer. No, it was Laguna Blonde, but it was it's the that's the color of butter. So she put butter on her head. Oh, Mary Kay says she just got orchided by Aesthetica in Chrome and loves it. This is orchid in Americana. Americana. It's my Americana. third orchid. Mm hmm Kim likes her some orchid. Yeah, I do. One of these days, I'm going to learn the difference between orchid and Avalon. Maybe today. Well, if you do what I do and get both, then you'll know the difference because you'll wear them. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, I'm just you, reading everybody's comment. Do you know how excited I am about today? Did I tell you any this week that I was excited? Yes, I've heard it all week. <laughs> She's excited, y'all. <laughs> It's something to be excited about. Oh, it's so exciting. There, I mean, it's the first of the year. We're finally into 2021. Mm -hmm. We've said goodbye to 2020. We have new things to look forward to. Yes. Lots of new things. Lots of actually. new things. It's just going to take some time. Yes. Which means we have to have what? What don't I ever have? Time. Patience. Oh. You yeah. have no <laughs> patience. None. <laughs> So, we have to have patience for some of these things, but we're going to show you. But the thing is, we have something to look forward to. Yes. Um, the wig companies have listened to all of you. Um, the theme kind of for this first launch with the companies is cap size. Yes. So, they're taking tra regular styles and adding cap sizes to them. Um, and so, we're going to show you what Raquel Welch is now going to be making in petite today. We'll show you the styles. And then we'll talk about what John Renault um, announced on their Facebook page. We will. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Also, we got new Renee Paris coming. Oh, yeah. We previewed the new Renee Paris uh, that's coming up. And it is really... Oh, there is one. I'm really excited about y'all. <laughs> it's going to be it's your new favorite. Be my new favorite. <laughs> And they've got a new color coming out, which is gorgeous. Three new colors. Three new colors. Mm -hmm. Three new colors, three new styles. Four new styles. Okay. Um, so that'll be in a couple weeks, three weeks, something like that. We're trying to um, be the first ones to get it. So y'all cross your fingers. Well, not the first ones, period, but the first ones. You know. Oh, we just, we want to get the information out to you as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So lots of new things coming. Um. What was I going to say? I feel like 2020 was kind of the year where they didn't do a whole, whole lot of new styles, but they did new colors. Right. And this year is going to be more about cap size. So yeah. that's good. Well, we and we've got two new Raquel styles that we're going to show you next week. Mm -hmm. um, we got it. We got a new Tony Beverly style. Well, it's yes. not new. It's kind of new. It's newish. Newish. But not as new about. as Starly. Oh, no. Starly has been. Oh, my goodness. I cut. If you're watching, you know who you are. 
Starly hot cocoa. I cut bangs in your Starly. <laughs> oh my gosh, it turned out so. Is, I have to have one. It has these short little bangs. It makes it really modern. Um, I'm gonna call her and just see if we can take a picture in that and post it and say this is an alternative if you want the bang. But Starly Tony Beverly is a. It's been crazy, crazy, crazy. We have someone here from Tanzania. Oh, I have. I have friends in Tanzania, but it's not you. I don't think we've ever had Tanzania people. I don't think so either. So welcome. Sorry, I'm just catching up on the comments. Oh, she said just Oklahoma. <laughs> so Well, still not Tanzania. I don't think we've had anybody from Tanzania, Oklahoma. But that's okay. We are anybody. She welcome. said not Tanzania, Oklahoma City. OKC, Oklahoma City. Uh, well, <laughs> we have had someone from Oklahoma City. You got noticed. We've got Northern Ireland. <laughs> Dottie says she just ordered Starly today. Starly, y'all, is real cute. We still don't have stock images. So the pictures that you're seeing on our website are just ones I took with my cell phone. So keep in mind, it's going to look better. And if you see the, the picture and you like it, we have the whole YouTube video where we previewed it. Um, I don't know that the stock photos are going to be better than what you took on your cell phone. I'm just, oh, I'm just keeping it real. Just, you know. If you want, it, but if you wonder why, it's just on a mannequin head. That's why. <laughs> Whether they're going to be better or not. Oh, goodness. Oh, I, I just am so excited about those Renee Paris ones, though, because those photos are gorgeous, which we yeah. can't share right now, but we will as soon as we can. Yeah. So. All right. What do you have on? I have on unfiltered, which was on back order for God knows how long. It's, it's, we're pretty well fully stocked in that now. Um, unfiltered Raquel Welch, and this is the Iced Latte Macchiato, the RL17 slash 23 SS. Yes. And I've got on, I said before, Orchid and Amer is it Americano? Mm -hmm. Americano. From I love Aesthetica. that color. That's the prettiest new color. Turn around and show on the back. It's just got that pretty color melting going on. So you see a few highlights. Oh, I just love that color. Cute, cute, cute. Me too. This is, I, I have Avalon in this color too. Yes, you do. You haven't worn that in a while. It's been at least a couple weeks. At least. There's just not enough days in the week for <laughs> all the wigs we all got. If somebody says stock photos uh, often differ so much from reality. They really do. Mm -hmm. And that's that's why we always try to show you, even if it's like today, we're showing cap sizes, but it's styles that we've shown a lot of other times, but it just looks different. I yeah. mean, especially Raquel. Let's just talk about Raquel. <laughs> Which this thing, nothing we haven't told the company, but they put her up there and they've got this stylist and they've been altered and they're, they just look perfect on her. And yeah. then people get these wigs and they're like, it looks nothing like it did on Raquel. Well, it's Raquel. And yeah. But we're not Raquel. No, we're in not. In case you haven't noticed. No, we're not. <laughs> and it's the way they do the lighting on the stock photos. It's really, really hard to tell what color it is. Mm -hmm. And so we're often shocked when we get a new image and it's like, that doesn't look anything like that color. Mm -hmm. So, especially the reds, a lot of times they look more brown and they come in looking really red. Yeah, but Raquel looks good and that's all that matters. That's right. All right. So, oh, there's also a new Gabor. Oh, um, Gabor Epic. If you wear Epic, Epic is now coming in a large cap, which is super comfortable anyway if you're borderline. But if you're truly large cap, that is the best bob. I love it. It always hangs so good just beautiful miranda she did nothing to this wig she shook it and put it on straight there have been the no box. no alterations it's straight from the box um no i don't think you have product in it either i have nothing no dry yeah. shampoo nothing literally just spur of the moment thought oh i think i want this wig so I took it out so no alterations no cutting nothing oh linda wants to know about any in charges coming in we got they're starting to dribble but we got the SS1621 S plus. Yeah. But we yeah. only got two. Um, but that's the new color by Raquel. Um, if you've ever worn the um, glazed sand, the 1621 S plus, now they've made that with a root in the in charge. And it is beautiful. So I don't know why they haven't made that color all along. Because to me, the, the, for us, the 1621 has been our best selling blonde from them. Mm -hmm. And putting a root in that just, it's its phenomenal. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Okay. Are we ready? Anne says she missed what we were talking about, a good bob. The epic from Gabor. So. 
And Gabor is also coming out with three new styles. Mm -hmm. So we'll get those and show them to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry if we missed some of your comments. They go pretty fast. Yeah. Julie asked what you're wearing again. This is the... Orchid, orchid. by Aesthetica. <laughs> yeah, I already forgot if it was Orchid in, or Avalon. In the new Americano color. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Where's your wigs? I have them I have okay. organized over here. I'm going to stay out of her business, y'all. It's a first. <laughs> That's the truth. I like to be in everybody's business. All right, so I'm going to put voltage on. So voltage already comes in large cap, and the average cap, it is now going to come in petite. So that is super, super exciting. It is, because before, if somebody wanted a style like this, we would have to take them over to um, either alter the cap or take them over to John Renault's Jazz, which comes in petite. But now voltage will be all three sizes, so petite, average, and large. So I have on 511G. Let me get the colors up here. I'm going to do some red strawberry. So voltage, I mean, we've shown it before. This is something on the uh, wig VIP group. Voltage comes up a whole lot. It looks different on everybody. Um, there's a lot of comments back and forth of what did you do to your voltage? Because it just, it's really, really versatile. You can make it a lot, have a lot more volume. You can wear it a little bit sleeker, but it's, it's a great style. And really lightweight. Mm -hmm. Really lightweight. Super so lightweight. gives you, you can make it as, like Kim said, as big and full as you want it, or you can kind of pull it down. You never want to pull the, this part down to show the permatease, because then it'll start to kind of look like a helmet. Yeah. So you always want to leave the top of it nice and... I always say, like, you're scratching your head. Yeah. I always say just, I like you could just get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is voltage. So voltage now, all three sizes. Yeah. Petite, average, and large. The petite will be in... Probably end of the month. End of the month. So we're going to get all of these on our website. You'll be able to pre-order. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's like everything else that's happening now. When they come out with new things, they back order pretty quickly. So if you want them, you need to go ahead and get your order in. Yeah, I'll have these loaded up probably by the end of the day. So and it'll say for pre-order. Um, so like she said, you better get in line because... Unfortunately, Raquel is, is pretty well known for back ordering things as we talked about the unfiltered. Yeah. So all right. I'm gonna switch. Alrighty. Oh, I jerked your tag off. Oh, now it's my tag. <laughs> well, I already changed the colors. So Oh, that's funny. Once the colors are changed, they're changed. Michelle asks, how can I keep my winter from coming up in the back? I wear a wig grip, but it's wig grip, but it still creeps up and shows my hairline. Well, I if you're wearing the Milano wig grip, you just always want to make sure you've got that tag in the right spot, otherwise it's gonna slip. And it is designed to go under your hairline. So you've got to pull your hair up and then put the wig grip on here. Yeah, if and you put it on top of your, like if your hair is short and you put it on top of your hair, it's going to slide. It's made, it's, it works with the nap of the fabric. So it is designed for your hair to be going in an upward direction and it to be fastened on top of that. And sometimes I'll, if I'm going to be wearing my really short wigs, I'll spray my own hair with some hairspray. And then while it's still kind of damp, I'll put the wig grip on and it kind of just glues it down <laughs> a little bit more. Um, is there a color, Ellie's asking, is there a color dark than gradient charcoal? Well, this is, um, not, not with gray. Yeah. If you're, is that, is that dark gray? Okay. Yeah. If you're wanting a darker gray, no, this is the darkest. Okay. Lark asked a, a good question on YouTube. She says, I'm new to the wig world. Do people just buy or just do people buy just one color and stick with it in different styles or people buy several different colors and styles and wear whatever strikes them day by day? It's really personal. Everybody's different. It's just, yeah, 
I, I've been a hair a long time, and so I've had pretty much every style through the years and color. I've gotten really lazy the last few years, but so I don't mind being different from day to day. I think it's really fun and a lot less stress on my bio hair than it used to be. Um, but some people are really, they want to look the same day to day. So it just depends on your lifestyle. Yeah, and some people that have really conservative jobs, they just, they don't want to call attention to their hair. They just want to look normal. And then sometimes on the weekend they'll, or on vacation they'll let have their <laughs> hair down, so to speak. <laughs> okay. All right. Next, next we are doing sparkle. And I'm putting on. Okay. Um. Someone wants to see sixteen twenty one. I'm gonna. Yes, we will show it. Okay. I've got SS812, which is also called Ice Mocha. And this is, um, like you see, the, the colors are at the top. Um, the Ice Latte Macchiato. These are both part of their new color, cool color collection that came out last year. And Voltage comes in the cool color collection, too. We just didn't show it. Well, Sparkle has a little bit longer of a side. Um, which, this is, I'm so happy they're making this in Petite. Because a lot of people that love Sparkle that maybe have a smaller head just can't really do it so they're kind of stuck with going with the winner or something with a little bit more conservative feel sparkles profile is great yeah it is a good profile because whereas winter is shorter here and it doesn't have it has that smooth back this has that kickiness to look it look how different ours look they do look different mine looks flat I bet it won't look flat on you. You put your magic fingers in there. And... Hey, mine. Let's switch. Okay. So sparkle will be petite and average, not large. Just those two sizes. Yeah, I if this were coming out of the box, I would definitely say that that bang needs a little. It has a little bit of a cold set issue. Yeah. Well, it is coming out of the box, but before we sold it, so so if you get a wig in and it has a, a crazy bang or something like that, um, that's what the hot air brush is great for. Um, I like this color though because it's more of a cool brown. Yeah. Whereas a lot of times Raquel, I'm an at natural ash brown, and a lot of the Raquels are really red, but this is. Yeah, that's got a good. little twig coming out on the side. Little twig. Mm -hmm. Little twig, twig. Yeah, well, I got it to lay down. Okay, what's next? Okay, next we have um, Upstage. Okay. Now, Upstage is 100% fully hand tied. It's an RL fiber, it so it's a heat defiant fiber, and it has it it has always come in large. Well, I don't know always, but it, it currently comes in large and average cap. They are now adding um, a petite cap, and I'm doing it um, in the SS seventeen twenty three, and I'm doing it in the um, RL ten twelve, which is also called Sunlit Chestnut. Oh my gosh, this cap is so small, let me lose <laughs> And when they're 100% fully hand tied, they do tend to run smaller. They do. Um, this is kind of, That's kind pretty. of a classic bob. Um, let me show you the back. Um, again, this is heat defiant, so it, it kind of, it, I do cut this for somebody. It takes a, quite a bit of work to get if you want a full bang because it's meant to sweep over. So it always looks best, I think, away from the face like that. Because Raquel, their lace fronts, John Renault and Raquel have the best lace fronts. And Raquel especially puts that extra blonde piece. So it really blends into your skin really well. Um, This is a color that Raquel's made for a long time. This isn't good medium ash brown. So a lot of times the browns have a lot of warmth to them in her line, but this one is a good ash brown. This is like a little bit longer version of something. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> it 
it's a little bit longer version of something and maybe a little bit shorter version of something. I can't, I can't really place it right now. Now it, it reminds me of maybe a little bit less curly um, crowd pleaser. So crowd pleaser is a little bit shorter. So if you wanted something a little bit longer than that, it wouldn't have the curl pattern, but it'll it'll give you a different look. It kind of reminds me of my Cameron a little bit, mm -hmm. only it's got more layering down here. Cameron by uh, John Renault. Right. And, I mean, obviously, if someone was going to pick between... <laughs> oh, I hate to do this. But if they're going to pick between this and the Cameron, I would always go with Cameron because it is the regular fiber. So, but let's switch. I just struggle with that because that RL fiber feels so It feels so good. wonderful. And it oh. looks so good straight from the box. It doesn't yeah. have a lot of shine. Yeah, it doesn't need dry shampoo. It just... Uh, Tangles a lot faster. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. I tried to warn you. This is. <laughs> I can't even get this on. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> if that comes any smaller, you would have to be a child. Should we tell a little secret? that that's large yeah this is a large cap and this is average but this this feels like petite yeah it does feel like petite i mean it's, it's it just gives it gives none way small but it's still cute it is cute this one even looks a little shorter in the bang anyway that's up sage yeah. someone said that kind of looks like a john rose elizabeth which is that heat defiant fiber Oh, I have an Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it so does. it does kind of look like that. Um, oh, I didn't change the colors. I had that down. Oh, this far. matches my eyebrows. It sure does. Because this is my natural color. <laughs> my eyebrows aren't my natural color. That's dye. <laughs> <laughs> but right. my hair is my natural color. So the next one that we're going to show you, um, they make they currently make an average, but they're going to make it in petite, um, and we've not carried this wig before. But we were so excited they're making it petite, we decided to carry it. So we are. this will be a new We've edition. We've never shown this. So this is the Spotlight, which is the, the longest one that, um, as of right now, that they're adding in cap sizes. So I'll be excited to put this on. This is heat defiant as well, so you never want to brush it. You just want to use uh, a wide tooth pick. This wig is so pretty. We're going to see. It's pretty in pictures. I just have it never seen it on. Pictures. Which they don't make a whole lot of long styles in petite. So this will be a really good addition. I mean, John Renault makes Zara. And as far as long, I, I almost think that's sure. it. What's going on with this? Bang. Oh, there we go. Still don't know what I got going on with the bang, but it's just because it's been out of the box. Yeah. This is pretty. It's a good length. Yeah, I got some layering in it. It's a pretty color. Yeah. And again, that lace, I mean, that lace now, looks so good. It does. And this isn't a really dense wig. No, it's not. It's so a if lot you of don't hair. want a lot of hair, I got my widow's peak showing. If you don't want a lot of hair, then it definitely is. It's not a lot of hair at all. Yeah. I could. This is the reason I don't wear long wigs is because I always feel like they're a lot of hair, even for me. But this doesn't feel like it. It feels good. All right, let's switch. We're going to show this in four colors today since we haven't shown it before. Sometimes I feel so clumsy. Um, yeah, you could pull, you could definitely pull this up. I think you could do like a half up. Well, you'd have to watch over here for me. You could do a half up, half down, or. I get I'm just amazed at how easily this tucks and is not bulky around the ears. Because a lot of times it just gets so bulky. And then if you wanted to do. 
kind of a little bit of an updo. Mm -hmm. Do something like that. Yeah. Someone's asking about what petite head size. Average for wigs is around 21. So when it comes down to it, it really just depends. I'm 22 and three quarters. Um, which is pretty average to borderline large. Um, Kim, I think you're 22 and a half. Mm -hmm. um, so it just, but it all depends on the company. Yeah. So this is pretty. This is the way everybody wants their bangs. Right. But mine won't do that. <laughs> well, like I've it. got a calyx, so mine just go. Okay, let's do the other colors. Okay. I might have to have them. This is one of the new cool colors, the iced coffee latte. And I'm putting on deepest ruby. And this is um, most of Raquel's reds are going to go copper. This is probably, I mean, it's still got some copper in it, but it's the most violet toned red that she makes. Which I think that's a pretty color. It is a pretty color. Kind of reminds me of Chestnut from Renee Paris or Narika. Yeah. So this this color is a it's a good cool color that has like a medium brown with a um a highlight, a little bit of a root. Oh, that's pretty. what color is that? Oh, this is iced coffee. coffee latte. Yeah, that's beautiful. So good on the lace. Oh, this is gonna be yeah. a good seller. Karen says, oh, am gosh, I fell asleep just joining in. Well, I'm glad she didn't say we put her to sleep. Well, that's what I thought she was saying. I know at first. I was like, ah, uh, well, yeah. I can understand that. This is so pretty. Yeah. This is pretty. I like this. This one hangs. I can't get it really to go back, but I can, you can work with it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we could do that. All right. All right. Somebody came in yesterday, I believe, and they, they watched us, and she was laughing about how we just put them wigs on, take them off. We just <laughs> put them on, take them off so quick. I don't know. Ooh, I like this color. Yeah, that color is really pretty on you. The deepest ruby in... um. Let's try to put the twist. I think it's the okay. One so Holly, you're at hi Holly. Um, you're asking about the air bubble. So that can happen for a couple of reasons. If her wig is sliding up in the back, um, she's not wearing her wig grip, or um, it's not staying down for whatever reason. That's when you can get that air bubble up there. I um, I didn't help your mom, but I watched. You helped her. Who? Holly Harp's mom. And um, she got a sparkle, either a sparkle or a um, voltage. I can't remember what. But I I don't think she had a small head. I think I think if she's got that bubble, her wig is probably sliding. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, you look like Ginger on Gilligan's Island. You do. Oh, my gosh. I haven't seen that show in forever. Somebody... Well, I'm not gonna say it. It was a it was a really funny meme that yeah talked about you know taking me back to Gilligan's Island. It's funny she said that. I just love that show when I was a kid. Oh, I did too. Every day after school. Uh huh. Okay, now what y'all are seeing there is my liner. So that if you're looking at that, thinking what is that the top of that? That's just that disposable liner. So when we put these liners on, it's only because these wigs are not ours. Right. Um. So um, it's for hygienic. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to digress for a minute and put the in charge on and okay. the SS. And I'll just recap on those styles. So what we just showed you, the um, where my paper go? The styles that we showed you are now coming in alternate cap sizes, which they're listed down below in the description. Some, all of these are adding in petite. And then, but some of them do come in large cap as well. And so Kim's putting on the, someone requested to see the in charge in the SS1621. Where my wig go? It's over here. I no, think I threw it over there. 
Okay, so this is in charge. It is, we do have um, some of these in stock. Uh, I think we actually have a decent stock, but what we don't have is the gray that I'm waiting for for my personal wig. The ice grenade, is that what you're waiting mm -hmm. on? So this is in charge. Yeah, in charge in the 1621, which has a little bit of warmth to it, more so even than the regular fiber, but it's not really gold like a lot of that true life fiber or whatever they call theirs. Um, it goes really usually gold on their blondes. Yeah, and that beautiful lace front, or kind of lace front. So mm -hmm. so anyway, 1621 S plus. It is not at the top of the screen because we're doing this on the fly because someone asked us to, so that's why it does not appear over our head. Yeah, no, no halos, no bubbles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we One don't do that. I'm we get emails. One of these days I'm going to put a halo above my head. Oh, brother. <laughs> I'm not showing up that day. Uh, you won't know when it's going to happen. It's going to be a surprise. I might have horns over yours and a halo over mine. <laughs> that, would be, <laughs> that would be pretty fitting. Not true. Not true. Okay, so... Okay, so we saved the best, well, I don't want to say the best for last, but we saved a surprise for the end. I'll let you talk about that. Oh, by the way, I have, this is not Coke Zero. Y'all be proud of me. I'm only drinking tea now. <laughs> okay, so, John Renault is also coming out with new cap sizes. And it's super exciting because, drum roll, Ignite is gonna come in a large cap. Yes. And that is one of their, <clears throat> I won't say greatest style, but it's it's a fantastic style. Um, and I don't have my glasses on. Does that say, I think it's coming in petite. Um, yes, the, they're, what they're doing is they're taking some of their favorite styles, which include, these are the ones that we carry. We don't do the human hair. But January is going to now come in petite. Um, Ignite will come in petite, average, and large. Yes. And January is also going to come in a 100% fully hand-tied version. Yes. So that is super, super exciting. It is. I'm anxious to see that because, you know, I don't know how it's going to fit. Because a lot of their hand-tieds do run a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. And since January is already pretty on the small side I don't know how it's gonna but we'll see but that's really exciting yeah um because a lot of the large ones they don't make I mean if you gotta what did, what did we say Sarah was are we gonna carry Sarah yeah okay Sarah is another one sorry yeah. I couldn't remember Sarah is also gonna come in large caps so right. if if you know those styles then Sarah's long and has some curls it's just a beautiful wig but one of the you know and one of the things that I talked to the manufacturers about we do have a lot of people that wear petite, but boy, the people that need a large cap are just not well represented. I mean, they just don't make that much. They don't. And I mean, what we've always said is if you have a small head, yes, there are several options for you to buy a pre-made petite wig, but there's also options that we can do here. I mean, we have several customers. We cut their wig apart, take tracks out, sew them back together, make them fit their head. But if you get a large cap, you can't add to it. I mean, you no. can stretch it if if it's just tight in the circumference. But adding this way, you just can't do. And so I just feel like that is a whole missed opportunity for so many yeah. of these wig companies because so many people do have a large head. Yeah. Um, that means they're really smart like me. <laughs> just kidding, y'all. Um, uh, anyway, somebody asked. I have on the RLSS. 1723. Let me just go back up here. I didn't, I didn't put that. Yeah, the RL okay. 1723 SS, which is the Ice Latte Macchiato. And I have on Orchid by Aesthetica in Americano color. Yes. Which has, that's part of their new color collection. That yes. whole color collection was gorgeous. Aesthetica has new styles coming out as well. Um, they've been pretty tight-lipped about it, so I don't have a lot of information on it. But they will uh, be rolling those out. I'm looking in February. For yeah, that. I wish they would just like spread these out. Because I just, do you ever get just overwhelmed? And then come like, I don't know, May, March we're going to be saying, oh man, I wish they make new styles. <laughs> but, all right. All right. So we've got lots happening. Totally. Lots of stuff happening. 
New Tony Beverly Style for us is going to be coming up. We'll mm-hmm. show that maybe next week. Uh, the new John Renault cap sizes. Um, there we're not. I'm not sure exactly when we can put those on the website because there's rules about that sort of thing. So we've got to get permission from them. But the second that we can, I don't know if we can put it on when we pre-order or if we have to wait till they are ready for delivery. But I'll find out. They're saying they're going to be available February first. Right. So we've right. been a couple of weeks. Yeah. So that's coming out. Aesthetica, the Renee Paris, of course, we talked about, and that's super, super exciting. Oh, yes. I'm always excited for Renee Paris. Even if I don't end up liking them, I just, I love that company. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's always exciting to see what they're doing because they're always not afraid to go really trendy. You know, they're high fashion collection. So, yeah. And I, I have to agree. One of them may actually be one of Misty's new favorites. I mean, I, if I look anything like, the picture, mm-hmm. it's going to be my absolute favorite, yeah. which I'm not going to, but it's just the picture just, y'all, I, need, I can't give it away. I can't give it away, but it's going to be cute. Oh, <gasps> oh, I know what I need to say. Hmm. Alva. <gasps> oh, yes. Alva. Alva is starting to trickle. I mean, a very slight trickle, but it's starting to trickle in. Um, We've got some things that are shipping this week. If you have... Something on order, which we have a ton of chocolate frost on order, um, a, a lot of champagnes, a lot of sugarcane R's. That's not any of the colors that are trickling. Um, but probably in the next week, we'll be getting a, a two or three of the coffee lattes. Mm-hmm. Um, simply white. A one peach gold. Um, usually just ones and twos. So um, if you want to check and see if maybe something's coming in before you place your order, you're welcome to call. Yeah. So. Because um, I think they had so many back orders that I know that we won't get all the back orders mm-hmm. in that we got. We're going to, you know, part of it, we're going to have to wait for the second one, but. <sighs> Somebody says they're getting their Milton Marshall coming on the 20th. Good deal. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you are. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I just wear that company out on those Alvis. Cause that, I love me some Alva. Well, the other thing, you know, those dates are, for us, they're always an estimate. And we always have to remember that everything has to come into the port and everything has to go through customs. And we had a back order the other day that when I called and asked about it, she's like, it's stuck in customs. They have a paperwork issue. And so when that happens, it just slows everything down. So It does. And even when I was talking to the rep this morning and she was telling me about these and literally while we were talking, she had my our order already placed somebody else snagged it so i'm telling you they're going as fast as they're coming in so just have patience you you'll get it you'll get it but um just that's how popular it just it was the most popular style i think they had last year yeah so um someone okay uh someone is asking if the renea paris is going to be if they're going to be coming in large cap no the ones that are coming out are going to be an average cap yeah, but they run pretty good. Yeah. They they tend to go, I mean, literally, I just, most people, even if they have a small head or a large head, we don't have a lot of size issues with Renee Paris. Yeah. Like we, sure. like in the Rico run small and things like that. But. Yeah. All right. <sighs> we have talked for 38 minutes. Oh my goodness. It was fast. It was. Yeah. So I hope everybody has a great week. We'll see you next week. Yes. And hopefully we have more exciting news. Um, anything else? Not that I can think of. Everybody be safe out there. Keep your distance. Keep away from COVID. That's right. Don't breathe in public. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you.